Please welcome to our show David Clark. He is an endurance athlete and author, and his story is truly inspirational. He is sitting with Claire, is sitting with the man who ran the Boston Marathon four times in one day. Claire? Yeah, good morning, you guys. It's been so amazing just sitting here talking with you, David, just about your story. I wish we had an hour to talk about all the different stuff he's done. But, David, thank you so much for being here. Uh, so we've been talking all morning that you've had this amazing transformation. Tell us first where you were, and then we'll get to where you are now. Well, 10 years ago, which is the start of my journey, I was 320 pounds. I was... Uh, really knee deep or over my head I should say in a, in a battle with substance abuse, uh, drugs, alcohol, food, everything, mm -hmm. lots of medical problems, heart condition, diabetes, you name it. Wow. Yeah. So um, I got the idea that um, maybe I, I wanted to do some running. I don't know why. It seemed kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I was looking for something that was yeah. a little crazy and it's taken me to crazy places. Wow. And tell me, where did you first, did the doctor say, you know, if you continue this way, you're not going to live much longer. Like, what was? Why did you decide to change? Yeah, I mean that 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 was an actual conversation yeah. between my doctor and I, where um, they told me I was going to have a stroke. Not like I oh. might, but like you're going to. So wow. you need to do something. And I was so deep in my my addiction, mm -hmm. honestly, that um, dying wasn't really that scary. It oh. was it was really the thought of my kids dealing with that yeah. that inspired me to to start the change. And so now where are you now and how did you get there how do you feel like you've transformed well internally was the biggest transformation obviously I mean the the drugs the alcohol the weight those were symptoms you know it's mm -hmm. it's so easy on the surface to think those were the problems but those are the symptoms of just not being in a peaceful place you know not being able to just sit and enjoy life without trying to quiet myself from the outside in wow. obviously today um, I have a different experience in life and I do these ultra marathon runs and yeah, just a, he just does a little bit of running. You were telling us <laughs> that you ran it four times, uh, the Boston Marathon, four different legs. What do you find so uh, amazing and fulfilling with the running? You know, the thing about running is it's it's amazing affirmation of life and, and recovery and, and some of the other things that I went through. Being that, you know, if you try to own running a hundred miles at one time it'll fold you up so the only way to get to the end is to trust the process and take one step at a time and and it just becomes that that affirmation of where I've been and that I still have that ability to do that Wow! and you've written a book and you have an audio book as well and you have a really cool thing coming up you were saying you're actually from you're living in Colorado now but you're in LA because you have a big run coming up tell us about that yeah, this is a thing I'm really, really happy to be a part of. Um, it's myself and five other runners. We're running from Santa Monica to Washington, D.C. Wow. And it's called the Icebreaker Run. Uh -huh. And it's about mental health, depression, addiction, PTSD, awareness. Everyone that's doing the run has been touched by, by that stuff wow. in some way. What is the one thing you would say to someone who maybe was or is in your shoes and they want to start this journey that you have done? What is the tip that you would say to them? that it doesn't matter how many times you've tried and failed. Yeah. You know, that you, just because who you are now isn't who you have to be. Yeah. And you only have to get it right once, you know, to yeah. just take that leap, take that step, and, and keep going forward. Good. Well, congratulations Thank you. on everything <laughs> you've accomplished. I can't wait to see how you do in this run. I know it'll be great. So, you guys, back to you. Amazing story. I know. Ooh. Makes me feel like I should at least exercise do today. Something. <laughs> yeah, do something. Do something.